Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to become a knowledgeable ambassador. I want to tell you a little bit about my story um, uh, so that you kind of know my background and uh, and we can go from there. So a lot of my team ask, gosh, Terry, you know so much. You, you're a wealth of knowledge about the products, about this. Is it just because you've been in this for a year and a half? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I mean, you're going to gain knowledge from being a part of something for a year and a half. But let me tell you something. When I started, um, my direct upline um, didn't do a whole bunch of training. I've now been, um, that person has since left Plexus and now I've bumped up and my upline is fabulous. Um, but my original upline um, didn't really teach me anything about Plexus. Um, I had resources out there from my, my deeper uplines, um, but I wasn't being handheld at all. It was either Terry, you figure it out or you don't. Um, and I'm so glad that that happened because it forced me to take initiative. So how do you become a knowledgeable Plexus ambassador? A lot of people think that the answer to that is ask your upline. Yes, your upline is a wealth of information and they can absolutely and should direct you to find the information. But if your upline or if you, and you have a team, if you are constantly spoon feeding information to people, if you are constantly answering every single question that you get through a Facebook message, or if you are constantly finding the information and giving it to them, you are doing yourself and your team a disservice. And I had to learn this the hard way. Um, I started out thinking, oh, well, I know the answer quick, quickly and I can get it to them so that they don't have to waste time or I don't want them to get it wrong, so I'll just give it to them real quick. And, and so I just, I did it for them. That created a lot of work for me as my team began to build. Um, so much so that I could not manage it. I was getting well over 100 Facebook messages a day for questions that are very, very easily found through our resources. So, if you are new, um, and or if you are newer, uh, and you want to be successful in Plexus, the best thing that you can do for your longevity and your business is to take initiative. There are hundreds of Plexus pages on Facebook. There are team pages. There are files in all of our team pages. There are recorded calls. There are manuals. There are documents. Plexus, your website has a back office for resources right there. Search, 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 search. Take the time and do it. I know you're thinking, I don't have time to research. Do it one day at a time, guys, one day at a time. As a question pops up, go find that answer, okay? How do you search team pages? On a, do on a desktop, there will be in the top right corner a little uh, toolbox with a magnifying glass. Type in any sort of topic, whether it be a condition, maybe thyroid or fibromyalgia, or maybe you want to know more about a competing product. Maybe, I don't know, I won't say any names here, but a competing product, okay? Uh, maybe you, in your, your team page, maybe you want to know more about taxes and how that works. Type that in. Type those keywords in on any page that you're involved in. Um, I know myself, I'm, I've got my team page, I've got my uplines team page, my larger team page, and then I've got testimonial team pages, and then I've got all sorts of other team pages uh, or uh, Plexus pages that are for specific conditions, maybe thyroid, maybe autoimmune, maybe migraines, maybe PCOS. I'm a member of all of those. And so if I have somebody asking me a question, I can just go. Search, I can find testimonials, I can find information. Here's another piece of advice for you. Before I started Plexus, I worked in the dental field, okay? I was a um, operations manager for a dental company. And so I knew a lot about teeth, oddly enough, because of my job. But I knew nothing about health, blood sugar regulation, gut health, thyroid conditions, PCOS, I knew nothing about it. Um, so when people started asking me questions about it, I would take that time and I would either make a little list um, 
and go th and then pull it up at the end of the day or when I had time during the day, I'd go and research that that condition. What is that? What is that? What what causes thyroid issues? Where does that stem from? Oh, it stems from the gut. Okay. And oh, okay. So triplex helps with the gut. So I okay, that makes sense to me now. And then I'd go research and sure enough, everybody with thyroid issues was taking triplex. So it made sense, right? Same with, you know, autoimmune disorders. What are they? Let me find a list of those. Oh, okay. Okay, now I know what they are. Teach yourself, become knowledgeable in the industry that you work in. If you want this to become a career for you, a substantial, um, or even, maybe not a career, but substantial income where you're making $1,000 plus each month, become knowledgeable about the industry you work in. We work in health and wellness. So become knowledgeable about these things. If there's a seminar about gut health, go to it. If, if there is an interesting article about blood sugar regulation, read it. Um, that kind of stuff is going to make you, set you apart from others. And so when you start sharing with others about Plexus, and when you start posting about Plexus on your Facebook, and you start incorporating some of the knowledge that you've learned, you're going to sound very, very uh, knowledgeable, obviously. And people are going to be attracted to that. People are going to go, you know, I've got... I've got 10 friends posting about Plexus, but I came to you because you seemed the most passionate, committed, and knowledgeable. So it's going to serve you well. Um, don't put it on your upline to find you your answers. Sure, if you're brand new, your upline needs to be guiding you. Hey, have you checked here? Have you checked here? Have you listened to this call? Um, but they don't need to be spoon-feeding you information either. I did that before. I still kind of do it. Um, take the initiative. Step up as a leader. Become knowledgeable on your own and it'll pay off. Hope that helps.